Right guys, part two of the introduction to the Aiken course. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at Aiken Lang's website and the docs and kind of just give you a little um, run around essentially and show you where things are in case you are struggling to find them yourself or you just haven't looked at the Aiken Lang website before. Uh, we're gonna have a look at getting installed and getting set up with your environment so that we can push through and get into the important stuff. Let's do it. Okay, so on Aiken Lang's website, if you go to aiken-lang.org, uh, you'll be greeted with this lovely little image. And this is the Aiken Docs, their site. And you can see here there's a link to the playground, which you can definitely go and check out and get started here, which I believe just takes you to the docs. Yes, it does. We're getting started. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a look at that. If we right click here, we can open up the playground. And the playground is a nice little... You've got a little uh, example and some tests and stuff here. But the, the problem, like I mentioned in the previous video with the playground, is that the feedback from errors and stuff isn't, or warnings, isn't quite as complete as it is in the CLI. So if this is what you have to use, then by all means use it. But you might struggle fixing stuff if it kicks out any errors. So just be wary of that. And um, I would recommend, if you can, do something natively on a computer or with Demeter Run. Um, right, then we got some little examples and a little couple of little uh, bullet points about what we've got. The feedback and the CLI stuff in Aiken is lovely. It's it, The test suite is fantastic. Um, there's links to their Discord. You can go and check out the GitHub repo straight away. And if we go straight up to the top, uh, we've got our documentation. We've got the standard library, uh, which I'm actually just going to open now in another tab. A uh, link to the playground again and about. You can also search the documentation if you need to try and find anything specific. And you've got the GitHub link here and their Discord. Like I said in the other video, definitely go join the Discord. You can chat with me and the TX Pipe team and anyone else who's writing Aiken, really. They are, that's where everyone stands around and chats. So definitely go there. Super, super cool community. Okay, so documentation. So we're gonna go through the installation process to set up Aiken uh, locally so that we can get that sorted. And we're gonna do that with Acup, which is a tool like a package manager that they've uh, built. And this allows you to do things like update Aiken. It allows you to install um, different versions of Aiken. And it will also allow you to install um, basically everything else, any external packages like the fuzzer for property-based testing, which we'll get into in another video. Don't worry about that too much right now. Uh, but that's essentially what this process is for. Now we're going to do it with this uh, URL, but you can do it with NPM, you can do it with Homebrew, you can do it for, or through a URL for Windows, like with PowerShell, or you can do it manually. You can clone the repo and you, you have options. Cargo is here, Nix is here. If you use Nix, you're crazy. Uh, sorry. Uh, you can also install it manually uh, from a package manager with npm homebrew. You can do it from uh, with Cargo, or you can do it with Nix. They also have a language server, an LSP. They have some auto completion stuff that you can get set up, and they have extensions, uh, plugins for ZBS Code, NeoVim or Vim, and Emacs. So if any of those are your preferred editor, get the extensions and install them because it'll just make everything much much nicer for you. Uh, cool. So then before we get into getting started, we just have a little look around in here. We have get started here. We've got uh, loads of information in the docs, uh, EUTXO crash course. We've got some design pattern stuff here, which is new for Plutus V3, where they've just updated their docs. And this stuff is really, really cool. We're going to have a look at a lot of these design patterns and uh, tools and stuff. We're dealing with the UTXO model in the course, so don't worry too much about it. But definitely go through and just read through some of this stuff, uh, things you wish you knew. We've got a language tour here, uh, which goes through primitive types, variables and constants, functions, custom types, the control flow and how um, it can actually calculate stuff and the order it goes through. Validators, basic stuff like uh, the different script purposes and things. Um, modules, which again, we're going to all we're going to be looking at all this ourselves, testing and troubleshooting. And dun, dun, dun. then we've got some examples, which they're currently updating because Plutus V3 came out like two weeks ago and Everything's changed, obviously. We've got some more advanced stuff like uh, the syntax for uh, Plutus Core and some built-ins and things like that. And we have some other information like resources for uh, libraries that people in the community have put together and stuff like that. Um, definitely worth, I'm not gonna go through all of this, 
but we are gonna cover a lot of this stuff in the course. But basically the most important thing, if I had to tell you what you had to do as homework in this video, is go through the language tour and just read through these sections. None of them are that long. They've got loads of like code snippets and stuff for you to see where they explain the concepts and what they're talking about so you can visually see what's going on, which is awesome. And you can learn a load about just Aiken as a language as well, which is definitely, definitely important. If we have a look at the standard library, we've got some a prelude with uh, basic types and some built-ins for like more granular functions. But the main thing that you're going to be doing is working through the standard library. So in here we have uh, collection, uh, Siebel stuff, we've got Dix pairs, uh, crypto stuff for different um, hashing and things like that. We've got time intervals, we've got some maths functions with rationals, and um, we've got primitives like byte arrays, integers and strings, and then we've got Cardano stuff. The Cardano stuff is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. I'm just going to tell you now, this transaction is essentially the most important thing in this standard library. So if there's one thing that you should absolutely get familiar with, it is the layout of transactions. If you don't already know how this stuff works, uh, if you click on transactions, you'll see here we got types, constants, and some functions, and then the rest of the modules there if you wanna move about. The most important thing though, is this transaction type. The transaction is what your uh, smart contract, your validators are gonna be actually checking against. So everything we do is gonna deal with elements in this type within the transaction that you're submitting to the blockchain. So definitely just get familiar with this. Uh, again, we're gonna go through so much of this ourselves, but that's essentially the most important place. Like just bookmark this page you know, and just have access to it at all times. Okay, so I mean, I mean, that's it. Let's just get it installed. So if we go back here and we go to installation, Go to A cup here. And like I said, I'm just gonna use this URL for Linux and Mac OS. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then we're gonna switch over to my uh, virtual machine here, paste it in. And when we hit enter, we will install A cup. And then it'll show you this source home just to make sure that you add their uh, executables to your environment. But then when we run that, we can run Aiken version, uh, sorry, Acup version, and you'll see Acup 0.0.10. Go and install our VS Code extension. And if we hit Aiken version, you'll see that Aiken command is not yet found. And that's because we actually need to install that. We're gonna run Acup, the command, and then that's gonna install Aiken. And you'll get this lovely little printout in your CLI. You'll see the repo, you got links to docs and their Discord and ways to contribute to Aiken. And then it'll show you that you're installing Aiken uh, v1.1. So now we've got Aiken installed, we can run the Aiken dot, uh, we can run the Aiken help command, double dash help. And you'll see here it comes up with a bunch of different things, a bunch of different commands we can do. We're going to focus on this Aiken new, but you can see here we can uh, use formatting, we got export, we got a uh, build to be able to build our validators once we've written them and checked them. Uh, it can print addresses, it can run check to run all our tests and to just check that the validators are written correctly. Uh, we've got the docs, we got uh, to build documentation for any libraries or anything that you build yourself. And we've got add to be able to install packages like the fuzzer, which we'll look at in a bit. We've also got blueprint and packages and TX and UPLC completion and help. Take the time, look through some of these, give them a little try yourself, use the help, use the docs, and make sure you just familiar, familiarize yourself with this tool. So now we're gonna build our own project. So we're gonna run Aiken new and then Reese T. Morgan slash course. So that's my GitHub with a repo name course. And this is where all the code's gonna be held by the way. But again, I'll put links to all this in the description below. And then it'll say, we've started our new project. If we're gonna CD into the course and we'll run Aiken check and you'll, say, you'll see here that it compiles and then it says resolving any dependencies, uh, compiling the standard library, and then there's a summary. And this summary shows zero errors and zero warnings because we, we obviously haven't done anything with it yet. But when you run Aiken check or Aiken build, this is the output that you're going to see. All right, guys, so we've got our project set up. We've got Aiken installed. In the next video, we're gonna have a little look at what validators look like on Cardano. I'll see you then.